Hey YouTube, this is Rishika and this would be my 24th video tutorial on data stage and the previous videos and the most recent videos were on sort stage and remove duplicate stage so in this video I'll focus on modify stage once we are done with the modify stage I would then start, uh, I would make a video tutorials on transformer in next, uh, ne from next videos and I uh, I am thinking of making it like uh, several uh, parts of transformer because I don't want to tell everything about the transformer in just one uh, one video that makes pretty long video and by the end of the video we can't remember uh, what exactly is transformer so yeah I, I'm gonna work on that I'm gonna tr uh, split up different uh, functions of transformer uh, in different videos so that would be easy and easy for uh, guys to understand for the beginners basically okay so yeah uh, so let's leave it that uh, let's leave that topic and get into video tutorial modify on modify stage so modify it's obviously a, a processing stage and it can have a single input link and a single output link okay it can't have any more than that single input and single output that's it when you're trying to have like any more than it's a, it, it does not support any more uh, input or output links that's it okay and the other thing about is modify is uh, modify basically you're uh, using it for <laughs> modify stage right you're basically using it for modifying your data M modifying in the sense you can have like uh, you can perform like different functions or operations but you need to do it manually the thing yeah that's the reason I'm not a big fan of modify stage if everything needs to be done manually you need to choose column names manually you need to write whole uh, function manual and everything is manually so what happens is it's not that uh, it's not that I'm lazy but the thing is when we are trying to write like a, a set of functions manually what happens is we may uh, obviously in real time we have like a lot of columns to handle right so when we are trying to have those column names there might be some mistakes in the column names or some spaces or some letter and everything so yeah and you don't realize that uh, so like yeah I mean case sensitivity and all that stuff so you don't realize that until the job fails okay that's the uh, that's the main drawback of this modifier stage but in transformer stage like all the functions are predefined so you are just gonna choose what function do you want and what do you want to do with that function that's it unlike modify stage transformer is pretty much uh, pretty much like uh, what do i say predefined thing so it's pretty much like automated it's not that uh, it's automated but yeah uh, there, there are like less chance of errors when you use transformer but modify yeah because see we don't have anything we need to draw uh, how many columns you need to drop how many columns you need to keep, uh, you need to keep everything should be written here so that's little uh, tiresome and all and also uh, leads to some performance things because that's obviously because in real time you don't get merchant id as a merchant id column and all that column there may be like some uh, fbo44 uh, fbo4e and all that like different column names it depends on the project so yeah you can't really remember uh, what exactly is the column name right so that may lead to errors so leaving that topic aside the basic function for modify stage as i said is the 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 stage is used to uh, modify the uh, modify the data modify the input data and that modified data is written to the output okay and uh, basic functions you can do in modify I mean the most important functions we can do modifying is the one is we can drop the columns and when re we can rename the columns uh, I'm not sure we can rename the columns yeah but we can drop the columns and we can uh, choose columns which we need to keep and we can have we can have the most important thing is we can handle null null values we can we can uh, let's uh, let's say you have like null null nulls and when you're trying to write it to sequential what does it say you says null uh, null is being writ written to the sequential file stage and you can't uh, write nulls to sequential file stage right so instead of choosing option in the sequential file stage like null field value option uh, just handle that null in the modify stage itself so that's thing and the other thing other function you can perform in this modify stage is data conversions you can have like implicit data conversions and explicit data conversions implicit data conversions means like uh, converting care to varchar 
integer to uh, int 8 to uh, int 16, int 32, those are implicit data conversions. Explicit means when you uh, say when you're trying to uh, convert date, date uh, data type to string or string to date or uh, something like decimal to string or all that like other you don't think of them as regularly but uh, yeah you can say right because date can't be a string that's not just a inner conversion right so that's explicit conversion so you need to do it manually so yeah that's pretty much about the modify functions but uh, yeah when you're trying to uh, conversions honestly speaking uh, conversions I prefer doing it in transformer I don't use modify stage modify stage I only use a few times uh, like for null handling basically and keep and drop doesn't matter because we can just drop if, if why do I want to drop in modify stage if I can drop in the source or if I drop in the previous stage like then I, let's say you have a source here so I can drop it here right uh, drop it here right but let's say in, in real time you have like many more stages before modify stage so why do I want to drop in modify stage if I can just map out or uh, just pull out the columns and before the modify stage, right? So if you just want to drop uh, columns for just dropping, I don't prefer a uh, modify stage because I can do it in copy stage. Modify stage, the thing is, it, you, it, it has its own modify operator. So yeah, that's pretty complex rather than like copy operator. Those are pretty simple things. So yeah, if you just want to drop, just uh, pull out the column in mapping in the before stages or just use a copy stage or yeah, simple stages, right? Yeah, and uh, uh, yeah, mostly uh, I don't prefer uh, keep and modify, but yeah, if, if you want to keep, okay, let me, let me just uh, get into this. Uh, okay, let me tell you properties and then design a job for you. Okay, modify doesn't have any property except specification. Specification is the thing, the, the, this block where we need to write our uh, what what uh, modification you're trying to have on your data. That's the thing. This is like workplace, work uh, workspace. I say, not workplace, workspace. So this workspace, you're basically writing your own uh, function or own uh, thing which uh, by which you can modify the input data and write the modified data to your output okay that's it and it doesn't have any more options it doesn't have only specification and that specification it's not that just one you can have any number of specifications it's a repeatable property you see this blue icon is repeating right so that means it's a repeatable property so you can have many specifications you can say like keep in one and drop in one other specification and handle null in one other and data type in conversion in one other and all that stuff okay now let me uh, just design the job okay and uh, let me put the database as my uh, source because I do have enough data to handle my uh, nulls and all that values so yeah and remember I do have a parameter so let me just uh, load my parameter set add parameter set and parameter set is oracle schema one so see it's pretty simple so whenever you're trying to uh, have your own job try to create your parameter set so that uh, it makes us feel that we are doing like real time job and it, it it's a good habit you know so yeah now oracle server and everything and once you have done this just as the, test the connection okay and the connection is successful right and now uh, generate sql yes and table i want to choose employees say employees okay it doesn't matter but just whichever case sensitive it is it doesn't matter okay and now load your columns uh, it's plugin right employees okay here it is and i'm trying to get all columns okay and any not view data it works perfectly so that's fine let me just drop what column i want to drop let me just drop email column okay so just just write your own syntax here like drop it, it doesn't matter whichever case you can have drop email and let's say you want to drop uh, if, if it's just one single column just drop email and just leave that and uh, go to output here and here you don't the important thing about the modify stage is you don't see any mapping thing so you need to load this column definitions again okay so go to hr employees and remember we're trying to drop e uh, drop email column right so just remove that uh, thing 
and now click on that okay uh, click on that except I mean whatever columns you want to drop just remove that it doesn't really make sense to me but yeah you want to remove that uh, so that's it that's that's how you want to uh, drop email I mean drop just single column and if you want to drop a uh, multiple columns just drop all these things like first name let's say you don't want to have like first name and let's say you don't want to have manager id so these are the multiple columns you can drop so if, as soon as you put uh, your uh, as soon as you increase your column names here the columns output gonna decrease what what did we say output uh, first name right so first name and what's the other thing manager id so yeah make sure when you try to write drop statements uh, drop statements in this uh, modifier stage try to remove in the output too because that if you don't write it in the output the job gonna abort okay now uh, let's keep the path for the sequential file anything it doesn't matter because we pretty much finished everything in the uh, important stages except the transformer right and that's pretty much it now uh, just run the job and see if the columns if the draw i mean if the columns you dropped are still existing in the output data or are they really dropped so the job is successfully run now let's view the data so how many columns did we draw? We, we dropped first name, uh, sorry, manager ID and email column, right? So three columns are dropped. So we should not see first name, manager ID and email columns in the output data. See, there is only last name. There is no, no first name and there is no email after phone number and there is no department, I mean, manager ID too. So that, that worked perfectly, okay? and yeah i'm not gonna show a uh, keep and everything because yeah it's it, it can specify like pretty much everything is in here you can have like a uh, keep column name so that gonna be uh i mean the column's gonna be kept and the other is new, uh, data type conversions but honestly uh, i don't prefer data type conversions in modify stage i mean i have experiences like throwing many errors and all that stuff so yeah i don't prefer uh, doing uh, conversions at all in modify stage I always do it in transformer stage because transformer we do have like input columns manual right so I'm not gonna uh, show the data type conversion I'll show it in uh, any way uh, in the uh, transformer stage uh, very clearly so I'm not gonna show now but I'm gonna show uh, the ha how to handle null in modify stage because that's uh, that's I mean pretty interesting and pretty easy to handle nulls uh, because we can handle nulls in probably uh, any column number right so yeah so now let's uh, handle nulls and before that let me just uh, show you how the director looks like okay so when we run the job we do have these many warnings so now let's see what are these warnings so first warning so double click that and it says the phone number is a valid exporting schema exporting nullable fill without null handling properties right so it's saying there are some null values in phone number and you're trying to write it to sequential file stage without handling null properties okay so that's uh, that's what it says and everything like uh, salary field so it's saying salary also has null and what are the other commission person commission percent has also null and what is this thing department id so these are the four columns which are saying that these have null values but you are writing it to sequential file which does not support nulls okay so what i'm going to do is I'm going to drop all these columns except commission person because commission person I remember we do have a lot of null values so it would be easy when I handle null and give some value it would be easy for us to identify other things probably I do have uh, only uh, probably one or two things and we can't we need to search for that so let me just drop uh, other columns too and I'm not going to do it uh, drop thing uh, here what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it here itself so what's that uh, first name right okay let me delete the first name and salary and manager id and dropping it in the database itself because i don't want it to pass to the next stages and phone number okay so these are yeah an email too okay email i dropped right okay let's remove email too okay now i'm gonna handle only uh, only this now because we have we don't have anything uh, anything uh, i mean any columns in uh, in the input now see now uh, in the input we don't have any of these columns right right so we don't need to have this specification what i'm going to do is remove okay so now we're going to have only one specification and that specification would be uh, i'll be showing how to handle null okay 
so now uh, let's see uh, let's see how to handle null okay and what's the input here okay everything is good and output yeah output we don't have these columns right so let me just uh, delete all the columns okay why to delete all the columns just delete uh, what are what are the things a uh, salary and department ID and phone number right so we don't want all these columns so how many columns do we have one two three four five and three four five okay that's that makes sense now okay so I'm just passing a uh, same number of columns I'm not dropping or keeping or doing anything with the columns what I'm trying to do is if you see here everything is null 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 I mean not null not null except the commission person which is null okay so what I'm trying to do is I want this commission person I don't want this commission person to be null I want to give it some value okay so let me let me uh, show you now how to handle that okay specification what you're gonna go is uh, just type in your uh, what is this uh, uh, column name so my column name is commission percent and space and equal to and again space okay if you don't give space I think that gonna be uh, uh, that gonna abort I guess or some syntax error and all that and now write handle null okay handle null and open the brackets parenthesis and now write your uh, column again so it's, it's basically you're asking this uh, commission person to handle nulls on this column you're asking data stage to handle nulls on this column okay what I'm trying to uh, what I'm trying to do is I gave the common uh, column name and then is equal to and then handle null and then again the column name okay column name in parenthesis now because I'm asking this is my column name so that on that column please handle null okay now let me just uh, try to uh, run it and see how the data looks like okay so I'm just I did not I did not give any values I'm just saying just handle null on that column that's it I did not give any values right I mean usually if you want to handle nulls you go you give some value uh, when it is written to data file right but before that let me just uh, show you here see even though we handle null uh, even though we handle null now it's saying when checking operator when validating export schema exporting null I mean it's saying the same error but did you see here in before thing when you are trying to do we do have like this field commission person is null but no null export handling is defined right we do have like this uh, so many warnings about only the commission percent right and we don't see them now we do oh, we, we do see only that null handling is not uh, handled but we don't see those warnings you uh, you know why because those values are we, we handle null but we didn't give any value so when we handle null and we didn't give any value that gonna understand that okay they didn't give me any specific value but I need to handle null so how it gonna handle is it gonna replace all with zeros see these are the decimal columns so it gonna replace all with zeros and the precision is 2 and the scale is 2 so it gonna replace everything with zeros because we didn't specify any value right these all zeros means that we handle null in this column okay but now what I gonna do is I do want to have uh, some value let's say we got an uh, we got an update that whoever have uh, whoever don't have commission person I just want to update with some uh, let's say uh, okay uh, to identify it easily doesn't make sense commission person can't be negative but to identify easily which are the values we give let me just make it negative now okay and remember its precision is to see here input columns so length is 2 and scale is 2 right so you you can have only uh, I mean you can you can mention your value null I mean value which you need to replace null only at this length and this scale so if you mention other than anything like 3000 and you don't decimal uh, you don't specify any decimals or anything the job gonna about you can try that too okay so now uh, my precision is uh, 2 and length is 2 right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna negative point uh, let's say some uh, 85 okay because it doesn't matter uh, we do have some negative value so it gonna I mean we obviously gonna can recognize that okay so what I'm try, uh, trying to say in this is 
okay you handle null by replacing zeros but now i do want to replace those values handle null and replace those null values with negative 0.85 okay so yep that's it and now try running it again and let's uh, let's see in the director if it has like any uh, any, any any errors now okay now let's uh, view the data now let's view the data and see uh, what did we say in all of those nulls or in all of those zero things you can re just replace that with minus 0.85 right negative 0.85 so yeah if yep see here everything is replaced these are all zeros or null values actually right actually in the input data these are all null values but when you try to handle nulls without specifying any value it they were zeros right but now we we try to handle nulls as well as specifying value whenever you see null value they're going to replace with minus 0.85 so whenever you see minus 0.85 these are all the null fields see and yep see again here these are all the null field values it means that these are all the null field values so now uh, that's what that's how you're going to handle null see director 2 uh, i forgot to show you the director so yeah if you see here it it still has this uh, thing right when checking operator uh, this null handling properties even though we handle null right that's because i missed the simple point here we are trying to handle null so we are trying to make basically we are trying to make this commission percent column as null right so in source we do have yes a nullable field but in uh, output we are trying to handle null but uh, but even though we are trying to handle null it still says null right so what you're going to do is just uh, hit no and now it makes sense because we are trying to handle null we are trying we are trying its nullable column here but now in output we are making not nullable column because we are trying to replace all the null values with some value as minus 0.85 okay now let's run and see uh, how that gonna let's let's just see if that warning gonna uh, just go off or it gonna throw up some new warnings or yeah all that stuff okay so it should it should run perfectly now and let me now show you uh, the warnings we are not really worrying about data because data is pretty much same we didn't change anything right so let me just show you see here this is a previous job this this warning here if you see my cursor uh, if you see my uh, the highlighted one that's a warning uh, the blue one means uh, the job is sorry the blue one means which the job is already done and this is a pretty uh, pretty much uh, starting from here this is like starting job modify right so this is the new job so we don't have any warnings now right because we handle null by removing that uh, nullable field and we, we changed this nullable field to not nullable okay i mean we changed it nullable to not nullable right so that's the reason it's not showing any any, uh, any of the warnings so what did we do what did we do okay we changed not nullable field to not nullable and the other thing we gave values for nullable things right so yeah that's pretty much so see how many warnings uh, we we had and previously it's not going to show because yeah it's we, we run so many times so the previous one's going to go off but you remember right we have we do have so many warnings list of warnings but now everything is perfect right so this is how your job in real time should be everything there should be no warnings and everything uh, everything should be good so that's how you're going to uh, try to handle uh, nulls using the modify stage that's pretty much about this modify stage so i'm i'm really not going to show uh, data conversions i'll show it in transformer stage how to do the data conversions and all that stuff and that's pretty much about the modify stage guys uh, honestly i don't use it uh, much often except uh, handling nulls that too a few times okay and thank you guys uh, thank you so much for watching i know uh, you all will be waiting or more interested to see the transformer stage i promise i'm gonna make it like very soon and in different parts because i don't want to uh, i don't want to inculcate everything at the same time okay you hope you all uh, understood what the modify stage is and thank you guys thank you so much for watching